inflate a balloon leaving a 6 inch flat tail. We are going to twist a chain of 17 bubbles. The first four and the last four bubbles will twist up to one and a half an inch size. Actually for this sculpture you can twist all 17 bubbles up to one inch. So I twisted the first and the second one and a half an inch bubble. Twist the third one and a half an inch bubble. Twist the fourth one and a half an inch bubble. When we twist the first four and the last four bubbles, uh, we have to twist them a uh, couple extra times to prevent untwisting. Lock both ends of the chain of the first four bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. Now we're going to twist a chain of nine one inch bubbles. Twist the fifth one inch bubble. Twist the sixth one inch bubble. Twist the seventh one inch bubble. Twist the eighth one inch bubble. Twist the ninth one inch bubble. Twist the tenth one inch bubble. Here we can lock both ends of the chain of the last eight bubbles in one lock twist. Or just keep going with twisting eleventh one inch bubble, twelfth uh, one inch bubble, thirteenth uh, one inch bubble. We twisted a chain of nine uh, one inch bubbles and now we're going to twist a chain of four uh, one and a half an inch bubbles. Twist the fourteenth one and a half an inch bubble. Twist the fifteenth one and a half an inch bubble. Twist the sixteenth one and a half an inch bubble. Twist the 17th uh, one and a half an inch bubble. Uh, we have a, a long chain of bubbles to work with and if you previously locked the free end of the 10th bubble then you uh, don't have this problem now. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. The rest of the balloon is the 18th bubble. Uh, we don't need it, we can cut it off now or we can do it later. Now we have to lock the free end of the tenth bubble uh, between the second and the third bubbles. Just uh, roll the chain of six one inch bubbles starting from the tenth, and the ninth, uh, eighth, seventh, sixth, uh, fifth bubble uh, through the loop of first four bubbles. Good. Here we come to the hardest part. We have to lock the free end of the 7th bubble between the 15th and the 16th bubbles. So there are two points that we have to connect somehow. One point is between 15th and 16th bubbles and another one between 7th and the 8th bubble. These two points we are going to connect. Well, once again, just roll five bubbles, uh, the first, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth and the seventh bubble through the loop of the last four bubbles. Simple like that. Uh, we have to make sure that uh, the loop of the uh, last four bubbles and the loop of the first four bubbles uh, are interlaced over each other. The front side and the back side of this sculpture looks exactly the same. Let's fix uh, all bubbles in proper positions. This is uh, one of my favorite sculptures. Uh, yes, uh, there is uh, still one more bubble, the end of the balloon, the 18th bubble, we have to get rid of. We can force and hide it inside of the heart. Just like this. Here's the front view, the side view, the back view, and the top. View. 
I would rather get rid of the 18th bubble, cut it off and tie off the end. Let's hide the knot between bubbles. Okay, this is a top view. And here's a front view. Congratulations, we have made the heart. We can make the heart uh, by twisting all 17 bubbles uh, of the same up to one inch size. Then we twist three more bubbles to make the square. So let's make another heart. Inflate a balloon leaving about 8 inch flat tail. Twist all bubbles of the same up to 1 inch size. We are making the same heart so I decided to play this video on higher speed. Lock both ends of the chain of the first 4 bubbles. Now we twist a chain of 6 bubbles. Then we lock the free end of the 10th bubble between the second and the third bubble. Just uh, for the chain of the last six bubbles through the loop of the first four bubbles. Now we twist a chain of seven bubbles. Lock both ends of the chain of the last four bubbles in one lock twist. Roll the loop of the last four bubbles over the uh, five bubbles, the first, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh bubbles. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. We have made the heart. Now we have to twist a chain of three bubbles. Twist the eighteenth bubble. Twist the nineteenth bubble. Twist the twentieth bubble. The heart has a triangle shape. And now we have to connect uh, bubbles to complete the fourth corner of the square. Lock both ends of the chain of the last 16 bubbles in one lock twist. Secure the lock. The rest of the balloon is the 21st bubble. We can use it as a handle. Or just uh, cut it off. Use uh, scissors if you have to. Tie off the end of the balloon and uh, hide the, the knot between bubbles. Congratulations, we have made the square. Here's the front side and the back side looks the same. Hide one corner of the square and you will see the heart. We can use this square to make uh, different sculptures. Here's a side view and this is the front or the back view. Let's make some improvement uh, on our square. Lock both ends of uh, a bubble in each corner of the square. So do the mess, you have to lock both ends of four bubbles. One, two, three, and then one more bubble, one more corner of the square. Okay, we have done the corners of the square. Now I have to hide the nut of the balloon again between the bubbles. The square looks uh, quite different now, fancy. Let's use the square as a base for the mini cake. Inflate a balloon leaving about 8 inch flat tail. I made blue square the base of the cake and I use now pink balloon to make the brim. Lock the nut of the pink balloon with any corner bubble of the square. We are going to twist a chain of 12 pink bubbles, uh, all of them of the same up to 1 inch size. 
it is the first pink one inch bubble uh, with the second pink one inch bubble with the third pink one inch bubble like the free end of the chain of the first three pink bubbles with uh, the next corner bubble of the square we are going to connect the rest corners of the square in the same way with the fourth pink bubble with the fifth pink bubble with the sixth pink bubble like the free end of the chain of the last three pink bubbles with the next corner bubble of the square with the seventh pink bubble with the eighth pink bubble with the ninth pink bubble like the free end of the chain of the last three pink bubbles uh, with the next corner bubble of the square with the tenth uh, pink bubble with the eleventh pink bubble with the twelfth pink bubble like both ends of the chain of the twelve pink bubbles in one lock twist the rest of the pink balloon is the thirteenth bubble uh, we should cut it off nicely and we can use it uh, to make the uh, candle for our cake I have already prepared the candle in advance so uh, now I'll just cut off the 13th pink bubble and uh, tie off the end of the pink balloon hide the knot between bubbles our next step is to attach the candle to the center of the cake candles could be of any color uh, I like to make them white so here's a candle I'm going to make the candle a bit shorter let's twist 4 inch bubble to make the body of the candle cut off the rest of the white balloon and uh, tie off the end made the candle here's the cake let's attach the candle to the cake just tie the knot of the candle balloon in the center between the bubbles of the square you have to hold the candle bubbles very close to the cake bubbles when you tie them together congratulations we have made the mini cake here's a side view this is the top view and here's the bottom view uh, this is uh, a flat cake uh, we can give it a, a basket shape just by arranging the rims the pink bubbles on top of the cake Here is our basket shaped mini cake. Zero sugar, zero cholesterol, absolutely not good. This is side view, the top view, and uh, the bottom view. Have fun and happy twisting!